Before there was a British Columbia, there were many First Nations living here, and later there were fur traders too. But today's BC really has its roots in the Fraser River Gold Rush of 1858. Now, a gold rush attracts all kinds of people. Some of them can be real characters. Take this man, for example, William Alexander Smith. That was the name he was born with, but by the time he arrived in BC, he had another, more elegant name, Amor de Cosmos. Originally from Nova Scotia, William Smith headed west at age 26, eventually reaching California at the height of its gold rush. It was there that he coined his new name, which means lover of the universe. In 1858, when he heard about the Fraser River gold rush, Amor de Cosmos moved north to Victoria and lived there the rest of his life. De Cosmos became one of the most influential people in the colony. In 1858, he founded the British Colonist, the oldest newspaper in what is now Western Canada, and used it to attack the government of James Douglas. He lobbied for a responsible government, a union of the two colonies of Vancouver Island and British Columbia, and lots of construction projects to link them with the Canadas. A telegraph line, an overland wagon road, and a transcontinental railway. Promoting these ideas, he was elected first to the Vancouver Island Assembly, and later to the Assembly of the United Colonies. In 1867, he advocated that British Columbia become a part of the new Dominion of Canada and was defeated on this issue. Later, when the Confederation idea gained popularity, he was re-elected. And when BC became a Canadian province in 1871, De Cosmos was Victoria's first federal member of parliament. At the same time, he continued to sit in the provincial legislature and even served as premier from 1872 to 1874. And when construction of the Canadian Pacific Railway was delayed, he argued in the House of Commons for BC separatism. Politics in British Columbia has had its share of odd characters, but none odder than Amor de Cosmos. Mm -hmm. 